Hey, what's up guys? Dopesar930 here with a, another update video for you on the whole Xbox and actually PS, or I'm not going to say PS3, but PlayStation modding scene in general. Um, <clears throat> these are a couple things that have been released in the past, I want to say three days here. I think that's when I, I made my last video. Um, this isn't necessarily everything, but these are a few things that I felt like were video worthy and at least uh, noteworthy. I'm trying to get used to, I got a new setup going on here with dual monitors, so it's kind of tripped me out, but uh, hopefully in the next you know, a couple of days here, I'll be able to make a uh, kind of setup video I've been wanting to make for a while. And now I feel like even though it's not still there, it's close enough to the point I can make a setup video and show you guys my, you know, current situation and what's going on. So anyways, let's get into it. Um, the first thing I wanted to let you guys know was that there is a new version of JRunner that has been released. This is version 3, build 3. Um, not much new stuff with this update in general. It's really just a bug update as well as... Um, it talked about the ability to be able to dump the NAND on your Xbox One, which for the average person won't do much. I think it's more for people that are actually into the developer dev scene that are trying to take a crack at decrypting the Xbox One's NAND. Um, but that's the thing that was released, and I will, um, as always, place a link in the description for you guys if you want to find out more about this or... You know, if you do know what you're doing or don't know what you're doing, but you want to mess around with the NAND file, then, you know, it'll, it's a tool that you can use to dump the Xbox One's NAND according to the update. Um, something else was released, which is actually pretty neat, and it's a tool by Juvenal called uh, Juvenal's Hard Drive Tool. And it says, upgrade your Xbox, Xbox One's hard drive. It says, the Xbox One has only been out for a week now, and it's already being worked on by various hacking and modding teams. Thanks to Juvenal, he was... He has figured out a way to upgrade your Xbox One's hard drive to any size over the 500 gigabyte mark, which is the standard size. Um, for now, it looks like it will only be able it will only be available to users who are running the Linux operating system. However, Team Executor has stated that they were going to be working on a Windows version of the tool. This is great news, and if this has happened in the first week, I can't wait to see what is in store over the following months. I'll place a link in the description where you can read more, as always, and you can download the tool for yourself if you have. Uh, Linux operating system running. If not, if you have a Windows PC, it's still easy to run Linux in like a virtual, um, you know, virtual, I can't think of the freaking, what's it called, virtual drive or virtual um, <clears throat> operating system. I can't think of it right now. Um, but yeah, so that's that. And then hopefully they will release a Windows version soon for those of us that don't feel like messing around on the Linux side of things and just want to be able to run the tool strictly out of Windows. So that's cool. That's a really cool thing. Now on to uh, PlayStation 4 news. Um, a PlayStation 4 flasher is in progress, the SPI Way Teensy++ 2.0. Uh, the Xbox modding scene has been wasting no time with taking a crack at the Xbox One. It's the PlayStation scene is right there with them. PS developer Team Judges is working on a flasher for the new PS4 to be able to dump the system's main memory. As of now, this is a work in progress and the final version is not yet ready, but this is very exciting for the PlayStation uh, you know, PS users that there is you know, modding going on, um, you know, the Xbox obviously has been, people are working on it right now, but the PlayStation doesn't seem to be too far behind. Um, also, there is another thing that I saw today, which it turns out from everything I've read, it's just a rumor, but there was in the forums talking about a PS4 jailbreak that already been released and that um, some people were confirming it being real and saying that they were working with it, but it seems like it's all fake. Um, I'm going to summarize what was said. A lot of it's kind of um, shit talking and stuff like that, but uh, anyway, says this popped up online. No one seems sure whether it's real or not, just a rumor. Um, but this was posted on Pastebin. It says um, I have been away for a while, so so my question to you is: Did you miss me? I am aware that y'all y'all were all thirsty for a cup of a fine Rexer release. So here I am with a fine fucking glass of Rexer release. Yeah, did that sound sarcastic? Before I get off starting, starting ridiculing Sony, I'd like to pay homage to Sir George Hotz, who looked into the eyes of Sony and made them ejaculate as they bowed down in fear. Very artistic of you, Geo Hotz. Now that Geo Hotz has resigned from engaging in all types of sexual activities with a computer, and as all fans of PlayStation are crying for a comeback of Geo Hotz, I'd let you know you don't need that little... It's just talking shit, pretty much. I don't even need to say all the details. Um, it says, as you know, PS4 runs Orbis operating system that is highly based on FreeBSD, which is an open source operating system. And as the PS4 is closely identical to a PC, I guess you all knew that the PS4 and Xbox One will probably end up getting pawned soon. And now it's time. I did not find this vulnerability within PS4, nor did I write the exploit while I was browsing through a Brazilian console hacking forum known as 
Con Condino, I can't even really pronounce that. A person named X S4 San Sander, it looks like X Sander, released the dev kit of PS4 as well as the exploit within five days of the PS4's release. Although most of you don't know how to apply the jailbreak on the PS4, I'm making this tutorial to sort this shit out for you. And there was originally some download files which I think have been removed. Um, but again, Originally, I was kind of psyched. I was like, no way, this is crazy. But it seems like I read through, there was like seven pages in the forums on PS3. I want to say, I think it was ps3hacks.net or something like that. And everyone pretty much decided that it was completely fake. But nonetheless, it's it was kind of funny. It got me excited. And I'm hoping that in the near future, it will be released. Uh, again, if you want to read up more or, or uh, take a look at the original news source, I will go ahead and place a link in the description for you guys. So... That is all for today, guys. Hopefully, some of this stuff was exciting for you. And again, as always, thank you for watching my videos. Dope Slutter 930. And until next time, peace, guys.